What up, everybody? Can mean to back again. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, Daisy, it's sort of fixed. It just, it, like I said last time, it just happens when it happens. Uh, my SUV's outside, don't worry. It's not gone. Uh, I try to unlock this door. And I don't have access. Somebody changed this pad so I can't get in here. I was told it was fixed. And I was told everything is ready to go. I just, maybe I need to contact somebody to get the, uh, the combo of this uh, padlock. And I should be able to get in. Get my three briefcases and go finally get the M113. That being said, I have to say something. I gotta say a big thanks to uh, Jacko. Uh, I got it written down. You can probably hear me rustling through the papers. And I didn't want to get the name wrong. So a big thanks to Jacko. Thank you, sir, for helping me. Uh, uh, contacting me through Steam. Uh, I'm probably gonna butcher this name but you know please bear with me the director of KI gaming uh, was contacted through a person I'll talk to about in a second he uh, contacted Namindu Bathwanadich Bathwanadich it's like the guy from uh, Office Space Samir I don't know how she she doesn't say it. Samir it's easy Samir Naeem Nadejah I hope I'm not destroying your uh, your last name. You know how many times I've fucking practiced that to hopefully get it fucking correct. Uh, so, uh, so, Namindu, Namindu, um, however you say it, I appreciate uh, the support you give me and, and uh, all the help if you fixed it. I just need the uh, combo to the safe room, and then I can get a uh, the tank I've been wanting to get for years. Uh, but a uh, a very big thanks needs to go out to and anybody on his server show support for coked out Yeti. He actually sent uh, a a or shared my video, whichever way he did it. He. Uh, he sent and got um, the director of KI Gaming Namindu's uh, attention and I think sent him the video through a sharing or whatever you did. I appreciate it. And Namindu saw it and then contacted me and wanted me to contact him. Said that what they did was against the rules of the server so everything that happened that transpired uh was basically no fault of my own and they uh, were able to fix it because since it was against the rules of the server they could just take it down and then replace it so I think I just need to contact uh, a uh, an admin and then uh, they probably know this about the situation and they can give me a uh, a, uh, the code to the the padlock or they'll probably take it off tell me to get a padlock take it off and uh, and uh, and have me put one on so I can manage it and I have control of that padlock so uh, a big thanks to everybody who's helped me out and anybody who watches the channel or anything supports it but uh, you know there's there's a, uh, a, you guys went above and beyond the Call of Duty, basically, is what happened there. Oh, dude, I was so fucking ready to just be like, oh, fuck Daisy for like a little bit, but I was like, man, you guys appreciate the videos, I was like, I can't do that to y'all. Not only that, I didn't want to fucking shell out 60 bucks to fucking have to buy Armor 3, and, uh, uh, I said one of my somebody commented something. Uh, I think it was AK Joe uh, commented uh, talking about uh, but you know he was saying something about uh, trying to help me fix my problems with Arma 
and then I was basically saying it's probably a, since Steam took control of it and they tell you to go to the forums to fix it and it's a problem on Steam because when I uploaded or when I reinstalled Arma through my discs uh, onto my computer it had uh, I could play it didn't have the battlefield uh, let me show you Uh, it's on here. Uh, it didn't. It had a uh, British Armed Forces and private military company, but not the light on the side. Like as if I didn't own them. Like it was a a uh, like a demo version of it. It said I had them. I could play them easily. I could play the missions now. When I up uh, activated the code again on Steam, so I could download everything. I downloaded the disc and then downloaded everything through Steam. Last time I did everything through Steam to see if it fixed it. That wasn't the problem. Or that wasn't the solution to the problem. Downloaded through the disc, said I could play everything fine. Downloaded to Steam, and then now I have Arm or Private Military Company Light and British Armed Forces Light. For some reason. Here, I gotta make sure I'm not running into an ambush or anything. Okay. Um so it's it's there's a problems on Steam side and they need to fucking fix it but I don't see them fixing it because I think they're trying like I was going to say they're trying to uh, uh, push everybody it seems to me try to push everybody to uh, uh, on Steam to be able to buy Armor 3 because you know if you want to play DayZ and stuff, you just fuck it. You know, it's an older game. Arma is not as expensive, but there's there's DayZ Epoch and Arma Life uh, and all that on Arma Three, but no reason or really no incentive to buy it because if you just buy older CD versions or buy the shit through Steam. Uh, oh, that was what I look for. Some food. Um, uh, you, you can fucking, you don't have to spend as much money, buy all that shit, especially the bundled versions of it, uh, and then play Arma. Download the fucking mods. And the issue there is they are not making as much money, so... It's just the conspiracy theorist kind of mindset that Meathead has that, uh, I believe the, not worst, but I don't have the, the best, uh, uh, the idea of this company has my best interests. And they shouldn't, they actually shouldn't, uh, have my best interest in mind, but they should have their customers' base interests in mind for damn sure when it comes to uh, you know releasing games maintaining games uh, uh, keeping their customer base happy not screwing their customer base over by all means be be about the almighty dollar but don't be a greedy son of a bitch and a uh, cheat, uh, cheating your customer base just because you can and you're the only fucking thing out there. Competition, people. Competition drives innovation. Competition drives companies to fucking act right. It's a stable fantastic part of capitalism which is fucking awesome you know why capitalism is awesome look I'm playing a Russian base game how many people would have thought of that in the 1980s 90s I'm playing a Russian company uh, based game in America 
through American servers through an American mod. I think he uh, Rocket was a, a, a American. I can't remember for sure, but yeah. So in all, and then fucking of course he does it through. Uh, Rocket fucking went to Steam and put Daisy on Steam. You could buy and shit. So and he created something that people have exploded onto, and then capitalized it. And some would say, and I would probably say fairly so, and I, I believe it, that saw the money, couldn't make the money through the mod, put the standalone on uh, Steam. Basically, guys took his money and run, ran, made his money, then left the, the company. Now you can say he has been working on it for years, and he he's, he's just not leaving, taking the money and running. He worked on it for years. He you know he basically earned that money through making the mod and all that. I could see that, but just you know, it's it's your baby. You don't want to fucking give it in the hands of somebody else but if you've worked on it for years and you know it's hard work and people are just downloading the mod and you can't make any money off of it that's a tough sell that's I like to get paid for my shit too but I also don't want to lose any control of any fucking thing that I own so uh. but as you can see, even though it says I don't have, I can't even play the missions through Steam of the PMC and uh, British Armed Forces, but I can certainly play this, no issue. Well, there is an issue trying to play it, but once I get on the server, no issue. Even though I don't own, like the SUV, technically is I think, a private military company, uh, saying I don't. You know, basically, I don't have the hardware to run it, but obviously I do because I'm in the motherfucker driving it. So fuck you. Um, I've took the popper off my mic, uh, off my mic, so maybe I come in a little bit better. I know I get this little bit of an echo in the room uh, that I'm playing in right now. It's smaller. It's a little more square, so probably get a little bit of an echo when I've been playing lately so see if this helps or if it uh, hinders the uh, volume issues I've had because sometimes it seems like I'm a little too low sometimes it seems a little too loud I don't know I can't I can't make a decision there all right and right now I think I'm the only one yep only one on the server which is okay fine with me Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, so ready to. Uh, Namindu uh, said, "Yeah, it's gonna be all fixed." Uh, you know, it's, gonna, it's already it's been fixed and all that, so I'm like, fine. But I think they just need because I haven't been on at all. They just need me to. Uh, I guess talk to them, confirm it's fixed, and then get the uh, code to it, or like I said, put a new padlock, my own padlock on it. MREs, that there. Oh, let's put you there. Food, rank. Uh, I need DMR mags. That's up. That's up. I need my gold out. Fuck you. Fuck off. Fuck you. Fuck you. Switch all that shit over. Uh, Sega. Sega. I'm gonna eat that. Gotta eat that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta eat that. Boom, boom, boom. MREs. That. 
Oh, my gold. That's what I'm looking for. Where are you, gold? There's that and one gold. Get out. Lock it in case somebody gets in. Oh. Usually what happens in the morning is kind of bright and clear skies and then somewhere in the afternoon um, clouds roll over like this and it starts to fucking rain on the server or on the, the map basically. I've always liked that. I like the 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 sounds of when it makes a Of when it uh, rains on the server, or right, the yeah, the sounds of it, the looks never been quite, quite right. It looks kind of like in a movie, like when you're uh, watching a movie and it looks, you could tell it's fake rain. You could tell like it's only raining, like where the actors are at, kind of thing, like right in front of the, especially the back in like the, you know, like fifties and sixties, that rain that looks like they just put like a a fake <laughs> rain in, in front uh, like the a fake rain uh, shot and overlaid it on top of whatever they're shooting type of fucking thing it always looks like that it looks like it doesn't look like it, it's raining everywhere basically it looks like it's only raining where you're at so I think here I scone him. Yep, I'll sell that. Now if I keep this two gold on me, oh, I unlock it here because these are gonna give me straight ten ounces, and I'll three ten ounces there. I can fix my SUV with that two gold. And the last time I had the two ounce gold, not the last time, the time before, I just had two ounce gold on me and I could fix it at the um, the gas stations. And then the next time it wouldn't let me do it. I had to uh, break it down into individual gold bars and then it finally let me uh, repair it. rabbit so hopefully uh, by next time if uh, I sell or fucking sell let's see I'm doing something that's making me say whatever I'm fucking doing uh, I've uh, oh sorry it's early in the morning I didn't want to get killed in case I I had my uh I could get in, get in my safe, get my briefies, briefies, get my briefs, go down to the hero and buy uh, a uh, the M113. And nobody on the server. That way, no get killed driving over there. Fucking shit. So uh, I'll talk to the the admins, hopefully, or an admin on. Uh, let's see if I. If anybody's on, actually. Oh. Ow. Sorry about that. <laughs> and, uh, 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 my brother was next to me when, uh, uh, who was it, um, Oh my gosh, who was it? Uh, was it eight? No, 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 it was Jacko. When Jacko was sending me messages and stuff, my brother was... My brother was on, and Jacko was talking about something. He goes, oh, I see you type, and basically shit on me, seeing how slow I fucking type, and how shitty I type. When you've seen me type on uh, messaging you guys on the server so 
I think my brother got a kick out of that. That <laughs> fucking. It's like, oh, I like that he called you out for being a fucking retard, not knowing how to type quick. So fuck off, Jacko. Making me look like an asshole. <laughs> so don't look like any admins on. Nobody's on right now, so that's fine. I'll try to get a hold of somebody. Um. Uh, uh, maybe when Rubix or Dallas is on, or uh, try to talk to him through TeamSpeak, uh, and try to solve my issue there first. Um, but I gotta make sure that I get the. Um, I basically get the okay to do so, or I I, I go to. Um, I, I make sure I can get on the server first before I fucking talk to anybody. Uh, as soon as I see that the server's white, uh, I'll join it and I'll join Steam or uh, uh, TeamSpeak and hopefully finally resolve this fucking issue and then do my next video. Uh, hopefully, my next video is me fucking actually getting an M113. I just realized I forgot to sell that PDW, didn't I? Ah, fuck it. I'll sell it later. I don't feel like going back there. Oh, I gotta eat. Better eat that MRE. No, I must have put it up. No, I was supposed to eat them beans on me. That's okay. Eat that. And the shitty thing is. There's nothing I can do about all that food, all that uh, automotive stuff, all the uh, the food's easy to get back. Um, all that automotive shit, uh, the building supplies, that the uh, s uh, cinder blocks, the the uh, stucco or putty or whatever that fucking shit is that connects that you need to uh, uh, make the uh, cinder block walls. Uh, all that shit's fucking gone. It's like, golly, this pain in my fucking arse. So, fuck off. Oh, so silence macro off. Yeah, that's some gold. I think one gold, maybe. I love the rolling thunder in the game, too. And there's a little bit of a storm. Just that... I've always liked that anyway. Like, in real life, I like the rolling thunder of a... A big crack of a... Um, a lightning bolt, but it's... Put it in here and sell it. Uh big crack of a lightning bolt and then it, it uh, boom and then it boom and it like rumbles for like a minute oh I love that shit man I love that shit alright so I'm actually what am I do let's go ahead and fucking cause that shit will bother the fuck out of me Go back and sell my shit that I have on me. Gotta remember to take uh, my other two gold instead of the two gold that I have to fix completely fix this uh, um, uh, the fucking SUV. And I wonder if I could tow. To sell it, if I could tow the, uh, you know what, I'll just fire, I was going to say I was going to tow the, the bike to the, the, uh, back seat gear. Uh -huh. I, I tow the bike to, 
What is that damn fuck place? The, uh... Ah, uh, it <gasps> escapes me. <laughs> uh, that's my mom go fucking with me. Uh... Oh, what is it? Uh... The gas station, fuck. Uh... I'll tow it to the gas station and use two gold to fix it. That's three ounce. Where's the other gold? Oh, there's it. And I'll actually see. Take the briefcases with me. Get out. Uh, I'll actually see if it's even worth spending two gold to fix it, or if I should just try to find two tires out in the world and then fix it that way. Because you can't sell it with it, no tires on it. So, uh, jail trucks, bikes. Actually, re it. Let's try that. Okay, so this one, let's sell for one gold. So it wouldn't even be worth it to get two gold. It might be if I just wanted it out of my fucking building out of my way so anybody on the server I appreciate this I always do that light this motherfuckers up so uh, there we go trade submachine gun PDW sells for two gold okay good I forgot to fucking take this shit out. Grove. Crystal. Grove. Sell. Yeah, it sells for one gold. The PTW sells for two, I think, so that's a little better of a deal. PDW. So this is basically a kind of a bridge episode to Daisy because last time it was the I'm fucked episode. Well, this time it's it's uh, hopefully a, a bridge to next time you see it. We'll have everything ready to go. Still might not be good in that I can get on the server every fucking time I want to but it'll sorry if I hit the mic. Uh, it'll definitely uh, hopefully have my safe room And I'll have the safe room. Oh, almost four ten ounces of gold. Uh, I have my safe room ready to go. I'll have padlock, either a new one or the combination to that one. Um, and everything will be hunky fucking dory. Let's try to see if I can. Get out here. Did that change? It usually doesn't. Oh. Alright. Okay, we're getting in the back. Go to the gear. Give you. We're going to take that two, ten ounces. The two ounce gold, DMRs. Da, da, da. And I'm going to keep this on me for now because the last couple times I would hear after I got hit I would hear my guy coughing actually let me see if I can sell something real quick it's come on there you go you want me to bend down to suck your dick is that what it is in here. Alright, so you did. No, there it is. No. Oh, but I do have all these back at my base, so I gotta sell them shits. I'll probably do that off screen. And then just keep my gold on me, because I don't have any secure place to Put my gold and shit. 
and I'll, I'll stop the recording once I get to the gas station and fix my uh, my uh, SUV. Um, <laughs> it's a bit of a double-edged sword that I have all these people that will uh, help me out in a time of crisis, try to help me fix my shit and, and explain shit to me on how, on how to do everything, you know, put, putting, putting shit on YouTube and people watching my shit. And, but the double-edged sword of that is people go watch my videos and you can see where my shit is and then how to fuck with me, which is what they've been doing, so... But I think that one edge is a bit bigger and that all the help and support outweighs the, the, the back backhand cutting edge, basically, is people backhand the fuck out of me. I don't know if they don't fucking like me or if he's just being like an Andy Kaufman asshole and just doing it for the fuck of it, so. I don't mind it. It's, it's actually, I fucking, I was pissed off <coughs> when I saw that wall. And then I immediately started laughing because I thought it was fucking hilarious somebody took the time out of the day to fucking do that. Not hilarious in the fact that I was rolling on the floor laughing, fucking busting my ass, but like, oh my gosh, these motherfuckers, kind of like kind of fucking thing, and it was just like, ugh. Just so every fucking, before it was taking my fucking tires off, and since they couldn't do that because I was inside my base, they fucking... <laughs> They fucking decided just to lock me out of my safe room. So, let's see if they, if this has been fixed where, um, if you have your two ounce gold connected, it'll register it, or if you have to break it down. Break it down! Burn it down, 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 burn it down, the D-Generation X. Back in the day, people in the '90s wrestling. Fuck, I'm too old for you guys. Okay. All right. Engine off. Back seat gear. Got my two ounce gold on me. Yep. See, missing two more. If I remove a bar, make sure no zombies are coming to bite me in my ass. So it should be two one ounce bars. Free fuel or repair. Oh, I hear it. Ah, ha 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 ha. There we go. SUV repaired. Sorry if you hear the, uh, the TV playing in the back, but it's no problem because that's it for now. I'm going to try to get everything fixed for the next video, and I'm going to go ahead and put my stuff in my base, and you guys should see this today. So thank you for all the support, guys. Jacko, Coked Out Yeti, and Namindu. I appreciate it immensely, guys, and I uh, thank you for the support of the channel, guys. I will see you later. Bye. Peace. This episode brought to you by JavaWhacked.com, the official sponsor of the Can Bean Dip YouTube channel.